Hey, Sean Cowley, of course, with Chris Crone, made this all possible with Crone Foundation, and we are here with Alex, and we are in uh, Bucha, um, and what we just heard from Alex, I think, uh, Chris and Alex, is that this is the site of a mass grave. Behind Ron, who's shooting the video, uh, is a church with bullet holes in it. Homes over here, people are dragged out of their homes. I think you said Alex, 417 civilians, is it the number? 427. Excuse me, 427 civilians. Um, it's out. for now, it's for now. That's the current no. count. No. Yeah. And and, total. and so uh, Alex's apartment building uh, was extremely damaged. The building right next door um, is un uninhabitable completely. We have some pictures and videos from there. Um, just what's on uh, your heart, sir, with everything that's happening? Just really, what what is present for you about all of this? I'll try to to stay in the, with, to stay with the energy. Uh, I try to do my best and to try to help people because uh, a lot of uh, people uh, are now without their houses and we have uh, a lot of uh, humanitarian aid, uh, a lot of uh, uh, help with the, with the building, uh, building stuff, so we, we try to help uh, all of them and uh, also to brings in them uh, safety here in Bucha because uh, we have uh, uh, a lot of uh, bombs here, uh, a lot of uh, problems here, so we try to be right. and, and we hear a lot about, you know, life and things and places and people. This is just like a, a suburban community, a suburb of any major city. Beautiful homes are around here, being dragged out of your home, women murdered, um, older women, women, horrible children. atrocities, children, rapes. Um, Chris, this is the emotional, as Alex said, the emotional center of the feelings of the people of Ukraine. Uh, that's quite a Well, I'm just sitting here thinking about how Alex shared that in the last couple of months he's lost eight members of his community that he's personally known, schoolmates, neighbors, friends and um, how hard it would be to lose that amount of people in such a short period of time when this isn't a military target this is a home this is where families this is where his wife and his child were you know they were raising their family and he was fortunately able to get them to safety but then came back because he knew he had to help and i'm just trying to imagine what it would be like to be alex and um, that's uh, that's that's going to leave a mark on your heart Dozen, dozens of people remain unidentified, buried in mass graves that have now been moved. Is that right? There's still people out not identified? Yeah, we, we, we have no anybody's here now, but we don't know uh, maybe any basement in Bucha where the uh, people uh, didn't uh, or don't back home. So they uh, can't, we can, can't see their basement, and we can also find something there too. If you had one call to the people of the world, um, from your hearts, what would that call be? Uh, pray for Ukraine, be with Ukraine, stand with Ukraine, and uh, we will win, for, not for us, but to all the world too. Thank you. Final Father. Alex, thank you for your bravery and courage. Thank you for being here when I'm sure you're dying to see your family. Thank you for continuing to serve your community and um, for making the impact that you are. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Now, Alex's uh, wife and daughter are away from here in safety, and brother, thank you for making this available. Again, coming here, it was like, okay, this is gonna be interesting. This has been a 100,000 times more powerful than anything I could possibly have thought of, and three percussions, Chris, are only just beginning, so thank you, and thank you, Alex. And we're all blind, we're starting to see.